In the depressingly cliched world of pop videos, British band Radiohead have fueled a creative explosion, producing some of the most original, stylish and startling promos of recent years. Their successful formula is all down to their policy of hiring the best directors available, not just established figures, but complete novices as well. The latest film project is their most ambitious yet. For their new album, OK Computer, which sold an astonishing 50,000 copies within 24 hours of its release, they're making a video for each of the 12 tracks. The first single from the album is Paranoid Android. The video was directed by Swedish animator Magnus Carlsson and stars his famous anarchic cartoon character Robin. The woman responsible for coordinating the films is Parlophone Records director of creative Dilly Gent. Radiohead are making 12 videos for this next album project. The thing that we enjoy the most is using new talent, finding new talent, that's what I love doing. Straw Donkey came in basically on a showreel. I thought their work was absolutely spot on, especially for Radiohead, because uh, a lot of things that they were animating, like little motifs and eye dents and stuff, that, that coincidentally was all in Radiohead's album artwork. Um, so it was obviously meant to be. We met at the Royal College of Art. It was a very small course, and uh, so we were all quite close. We sent a tape directly to Diligent the video commissioner and she sent it straight to radio we got the we got the track and well we got the whole album i think initially didn't we we're listening quite closely to the song and deciding what the emotions were they turned up on the day for the live action shoot uh, did exactly what we said <laughs> and then and then since then we've just been getting on with the animation to lay over the top we created our own narrative our own sort of string we decided that it was going to be a a sort of emotional journey through through the video. So we played on the idea of uh, an actual journey and an emotional journey running concurrently together. Basically we created a graph that we then showed them, which um, shows the whole mood, the whole mood of the song going down and coming back up again. And then on that graph we plotted points, plotted visual imagery that we, we felt would, would sort of tell this narrative that we'd created. They took a risk. You know, they, we hadn't, um, we, we, we've done jobs, but we hadn't done a, a promo before, and they handed over the budget and they suggest to our, our idea without us pitching for it. Our work could easily be marginalised. A lot of animation is marginalised, but they've got an opportunity, because of who they are, to, to bring it into the mainstream. And we were quite confident that it would work in the mainstream. So I think their risk is going to pay off because of that. We originally set out to only use people that hadn't really done a pop promo before, but that's, um, that changed pretty quickly because we're using Jonathan Glazer for one of them. Glazer, one of the country's most sought-after ad directors, is currently making the video for the band's next single, Karma Police, but he has worked with Radiohead before. In 95, he made the groundbreaking promo for Street Spirit. Opinion, they're just thrown together. Um, that they lose, there's, there, there's, no, there's nothing anchoring them, there's no kind of sensibility there, you know, or direction, really. And to me, the ones that are, that's, that are striking are the ones with a very simple, confident theme. It's quite liberating doing a music video because of the other things I do. You know, I work quite a lot in making uh, commercials, but with, um, with a band, particularly an artist that you really respect, if you're working with somebody, then you're working with an artist. And if you're working with an artist, then that's what it's about. And it sells itself if, if the artist, you know, if the guy making the video and the, and the guy singing the song connect, so that the visuals do what the words do, then the selling takes care of itself. You know? And if you're selling a record company or an album or whatever, and you just remind yourself that you're lucky because you're allowed to express what many people probably think when they listen to a track and they see images. You know, and I've got the lucky task of being able to kind of put them down. You know?
Well, those Radiohead videos are still very much a work in progress, with ten more in the pipeline. In the meantime, fans will have to tune into Radiohead the sounds rather than the visuals with the new OK Computer album that's in the shops now. Well, it's time for Film Night's guide to the best of this year's summer movies that are opening soon, and it's a refreshingly blockbuster-free zone.